Yo guys, welcome back to another video. Manji the man is here back again. You already know what time it is, guys. We're about to do a reaction video to Standout TV. Mr. Andrew Tate is back. You get me? This has gone mad viral. Like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Let's get it. I've seen some clips of this already. I know this is going to get heated. Cause Very nice to meet you. Hello. Hi. That's really nice. Thank you. Let's do two, two kisses. One. Oh, very nice to meet you. What's very your name? Nice to meet you. Cheers. Andrew Tate, what's your name? Andrew, nice to meet you. Um, Cheyenne. Cheyenne. Cheyenne Reynolds, if you're doing this at home. Cheyenne Reynolds, we're going yeah. to do official. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. Cheers. I think she's an uh, attractive woman. She's a good looking. Friendly demeanor. Um, I can tell she thinks she knows things. So I look forward to correcting her. <laughs> but that's usually how life works. Finally, see? A man that makes an effort. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Yeah? Okay, where are you from? I'm American, but I lived in England for a long time. I lived in a very prestigious part of the UK. I don't know if you've ever heard of Luton. Very Luton. prestigious. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, number one. <laughs> Luton! Okay. Was not expecting that. Yeah, so I was in Luton for a while, and now... How the hell did this guy... What? That... That's crazy. Fam, Luton's literally, like, not even far from me. What the fuck? That's crazy. Okay, because your accent, it's like really different, isn't it? It's pretty mixed up. I'm like a street dog, my dear. I've been here, I've been there. Half American, half English, half Luton, half everything else. A bit of a mix? A bit of a mix. That's cool. Yeah. So how did you get here today? Uh, I flew in. I flew in this morning. Flew in. It's different? It's like different? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Jump on the jet. You flew in on a jet? <laughs> Who is this guy? What about you? You have a mix, no? Yeah, uh, my family, we're Caribbean and English. So the Caribbean side is the crazy side? Or the, English, or the English side is the crazy side. Um, I'd say the Caribbean is the fun side. The fun you know, a bit side? Of spies. So you're fun and crazy? Not crazy. It's the beginning of the day, it's not fun. <laughs> Do I look like I'd lie to you? Yes. <laughs> I'm not a liar, actually. I'm you're not a liar. Not. Everything you tell me for the rest of this episode is going to be a complete truth. Yeah. Promise me. Yeah. Say I promise. I promise. No, I really promise. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever daddy says. <laughs> Fam, that's... <laughs> Man said, tell me you're going to say, say I promise. She, she's already submitted his raps. She's already gone. <laughs> That's what that made me think of, that TikTok, fam. <laughs> all right, all right, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Um, so what do you do? Let me think of a lie. Give me a second. No, you can't lie. You, you have to tell the truth. I don't have to tell the truth. Why? This, we already agreed you're telling the truth. There's only one of us can tell the truth. One of us can lie. That's not good stuff. I'm a shoe salesman. I sell shoes, socks, <laughs> shoe accessories, polish, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah? Yeah, I sell shoes. Yeah. That's good at it? I'm doing all right. Yeah? Surviving. I sold two pairs of shoes yesterday. Life's good. OK, that's good. He's a liar. <laughs> so tell me a bit about you, Andrew. I'm not comfortable opening up too much. Oh, really? Yeah, because, you know, you might work for John. Oh, my gosh. Did you see the way she said that? Fam, she's, do you know what? Because she's dealt with guys like... Because you know the narrative, right? You know the narrative of like, oh, guys don't open up and stuff like that. The way she said, that was so sarcastic. I don't know if anyone caught that. That was so sarcastic, bro. She's not slick, you know. I'm seeing this live in 4K. That's For me, I believe in love and I believe in faith. And I don't think it's just one religion that you need to follow. You know, I've got friends that are Muslim. I agree. I've got friends that are Christian. You know, I've got friends that are spiritual, so I don't to put myself in one category. I understand and I respect that completely, but don't you think out of respect for God himself, whether you're in Dubai and you go to the mosque or you're in England, you go to the church, you should get up early on a Sunday, despite all the booze, and get up and take an hour out of your life and just show some respect, don't no, you agree? No, because everyone's mm. journey is with God is personal. You can be a lazy spiritualist, a lazy Christian, you can be a lazy kickboxer, right? I'm a kickboxer, but I don't train. Okay, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Hey, he's got a point. He's actually got a point. And yo, that was that was kind of a rebuke to me, cause bro, I'm a, like my background is Christian, right? And I believe in God. But bro, yeah, I can't even lie. Sometimes I know I should be doing more devotion. I should be taking more time out of my day to thank God, to talk to God and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And he's got a point though. It's true, bro. Like like you said, you can't. That's like saying I'm a bodybuilder, but I don't go to the gym. How can you be a bodybuilder, but you're not in the gym, bro? The fuck? Makes no sense. But I also see what she's saying as well. Like, everyone is as well on their own religious journey. Like, the thing is, the thing is about 
this specific conversation when it comes to religion and stuff like it's so like you can't really measure it you can't like who am i to say to someone oh you're not spiritual enough you don't go to church enough you don't love god enough because i can't see that right i don't i can't see your life but um obviously this is just based on what um she was saying just then do you have time for god absolutely that's good do you get up early on a sunday completely that's good every single sunday of course that's amazing and i think uh, but sunday like you can even ask catholics etc you can even do your own research but sunday is not actually the day to, that god set aside to worship like if you actually you know do your like the history on the he the hebrew calendar and what the bible says the seventh day of the week I it actually falls on saturday um but again you know the more you know so being religious but i'm gonna put it this way someone going to church on sunday i'm not gonna judge them and be like oh you're going on the wrong day you're sinful you're this you're that who am i to do that you see what i'm saying bro sometimes i don't even be going to church on a Saturday, this which is the day that you're meant to go, you know? Is a beautiful thing, and I think that a lot of people try and say they're spiritual or they're religious in a way, copping out on the one hour a week, it just feels a bit lazy to me. I think you can always find an hour a week. Yeah, no, you definitely could. So maybe God sent me here to make you go to church. Maybe, maybe you're here to enlighten me. <laughs> maybe that's why, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, what kind of man are you? What's the spectrum? I need you to quantify it for me. Who's at the bottom and who's at the top? For me, I'd just say top, like a high value man. What would you say? Do you know what? That's actually a really good question. What kind of man are you? I like that. Dude's a high value man. A high value man is someone that is successful okay. financially. Okay. I'd say it's someone that's got a lot of integrity okay. and good morals, yeah. that is very well respected, yeah. is very sure of himself, but also is a very family orientated man. That's from me, a high value man. Okay, it's fine. I'm a high value man. He's very sure of himself. Yeah, so what's a high value man for you? <laughs> Pretty much what? Possible. Why does she give that look? What the fuck? Isn't that what you just said? You just said you like a guy, a high value man, is someone that's sure of himself. Why are you saying that then? What? <laughs> I think a high value man is a capable man. I think capability can be judged in many different ways. Mm -hmm. And capability is something which varies depending on the situation. You need a man who is capable of doing lots of different things that he doesn't do very often. You need a man who's capable of being violent when the time appears. Mm -hmm. Of course, you need a man who's capable of making money. You need a man who can kill somebody and hold a baby in the same day. You need a man with a very broad spectrum of qualities and assets and capabilities. And this is actually what the most difficult thing about being a man is. Most people, when I say most people, let me change that. Most females don't respect how difficult it is to become a high value man. Because to become a high value man, you need to have so many different qualities and so many different capabilities is a very difficult thing to do. You Facts. need to be funny and smart and charismatic and interesting <clears throat> with stories and, and strong and, and rich with a nice car and a nice apartment. Whereas to be a high value female, you need to be hot. If you're nice, it's a bonus, but it's not even that necessary. That's it. If you're a pretty female, Facts. even if you're a piece of shit person, <laughs> you're gonna get messages on Instagram. Facts. Yeah. Whereas if you're a good looking man who lives with his mother, you ain't getting any messages. Facts. Not really. I, I think so. I think that if you're a good looking man, that's all you have going for you. I don't think you're going to succeed very well in life. Yeah. I know there's Facts. very, very pretty girls who have nothing else going for them that manage to do very well. Facts. You play chess? I'm okay. Here's the thing, right? The, and I don't, this is my thing with society nowadays. Society doesn't want to admit that society wants to put everything on a level playing field. Like, Oh, life is life is the same for both of us, for both genders. Life is, you know, whatever. Cool. Like, you know, men and women, they're they're the same. Like, we got equal. No, it's not. It's not the same. Life isn't the same for us. It's not. I'm not saying. Listen, I'm not like doing a pity party and saying, oh, life is so hard for me as a man. Like, oh shit, man, bro. Like, we just take life as it is and we just roll with the punches. But let's not act like becoming like a man. We have to become something. We have to become something. Just look at how they portray superheroes. Women superheroes, right? They just are. It's just like Captain Marvel, yeah? When you saw that film, it's just like, wh where was the backstory, like, of, of her come up? The come up, fam. But when you look at Iron Man, yeah? Steve Rogers, Captain America. You, like, they had their own separate movies, which, which showed their story, fam. Which showed the come up. You see what I'm saying? And this is, I think this is what Andrew's alluding to. Like, us us as guys, like, you can't just be good looking. You have to, bro, as a guy, you have to be the whole package. You have to, in order for girls to take you seriously.
bro, that's just the game. I'm not mad at the game. It's just, it's just what it is, you know. I used to be mad at the game though, I'm not gonna lie. I used to be pissed. I was like, fuck this shit, I'm gonna just be a bum and I'll just do what I want, but nah bro, you, you can't live life like that. No way. You have to be a man worthy of respect. And as a man you gotta earn that respect. Don't get me wrong, there's a certain level of I have a certain level of respect for every guy that walks on this earth, right? But then there's also levels to this as well. Right? The queen gets to jump all over the board. And the king has to move one square at a time. And I think that's done very purposefully. If you go to Monaco and you see a yacht and you see a man on that yacht, he had to work his entire life and network his entire <clears> life and get up early and deal with stress and tax problems and police problems and work his ass off to buy that boat. What did the girl have to do? The girl is on that boat, the 19-year-old Ukrainian. She had to get a message on Instagram. Boom. So the man moves one square at a time and the queen just jumps on board. This is the point. Female beauty is extremely valuable. The thing yeah. is there's a difference between a high-value man and a high-value woman. For me, a high-value woman is... What kind of mother is she? What kind of like compassion has she got? You know, right. has she got integrity? Has right. she got morals? Is she loyal? I like all these other qualities, but I feel like men base it on like just an aesthetic level. I agree with you. If I meet a female, I would like her to be all those things, especially loyal. It's the most important thing for a female to be. Are you but loyal? Mr. Loyal, man of God, we already talked about church. But, but, <laughs> but the point is that to initially attract a mate, Females, the most important thing for them is their looks, whereas a man, I think, is his status. His yes. status is a far more varied spectrum yes. than looks alone. The amount of effort that women go to to look nice on dates and stuff, like, women will say, oh, I do this for me, I, I wear makeup for me, da 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 da, da. Okay, cool. You, you can think that, innit? You can think that. And the, jo the joke is, right, when, when women insult other women, I find it funny that the first few things that they say about other women that they want to insult is that, oh, she's not even pretty. She's not even good looking. If it didn't matter, if that stuff did not matter, right, then why, why would women use that as like the first sort of insult to insult other women? Just think about that for a sec. And by the way, I'm not saying that women don't have other qualities that make them a woman. Of course, it's not just it's not just their looks. But let's not get it twisted. Bro, even the Bible, yeah, and other religious texts, when it talks about certain women, it talks about how beautiful and how fair they are. You see what I'm saying? That's a good thing. It's a great thing. Their beauty is should be cherished and it should be um it should be appreciated. Yeah, hundred percent. But for the man, it's not his beauty that is primarily appreciate it's it's what he can do in this world it's his contribution to this world you see the contribution to society you see what i mean it's just bro we are different beings at the end of the day which means we are gonna have different things that we need to bring to the table in order for both of us to thrive being good looking alone does not make you a high status male to be a high status male you need to have a bunch of things initially if you're just pretty you're gonna get attention whereas a man you need to have a bunch of things to just get attention do you understand? Yeah. Do you agree with my point? Mm, not always. Listen, there's men that are funny, that aren't that attractive, that can get attention. It's like an energy thing. I disagree. You disagree? I disagree. I know, I know what you're saying. They can get attention, but I don't think anyone would look at a funny guy who lives with his mom and call him a high-value male. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you get a really, really beautiful girl, even if she has nothing else going for her, she'd be considered high-value. I wouldn't I, say high-value, no. Yeah, we can disagree. That's fine. Are you a good partner? The best, of course. The best? What makes you the best? Besides you and the police, I don't often answer questions. Okay. He's definitely had a police interview in the past. I don't like to answer open-ended questions because I feel like they're a trap. Why? <laughs> because when you speak a lot, it's how you end up getting trapped, right? It doesn't matter if it's a police interview or anything else. The more you talk, the worse. So I want you to be very, very specific with your parameters within the questioning because that allows me to answer them in a way which makes me look the best. I don't know. <laughs> this guy's a dog! Let's go! The fuck? Oh my days! Ah, right, he's got a point though. Bro, this is why as a man, you should learn to articulate yourself in all situations. Keep your answers short, sweet, concise, so people still understand what you're saying. And you still articulate yourself well to get respect. You see what I'm saying? Ah, right, he's got a point, but he's a, he's a... D Bro! Like a, a very confident man that was very sure of himself would just answer. Do you think so? Mm-hmm. If, if this is what I don't like. I don't like it when girls try to tell us guys what a what a high value man, what a confident man looks like. How do you know? Respectfully, how do you know? How? 
you're you're a woman how do you know what do you know what i'm saying how do you know how a man should be like i know you what you're what what they're attracted to but how do you know what a high value man looks like let's not do all that come on now they try to tell us guys of, of what to be and how to think and how to feel i allow it stop it if he's innocent <laughs> then you've never dealt with the police my dear that's not how it works no, no of course not that, but he's that innocent. doesn't mean anything innocent and guilty in and of itself is a false paradigm you, you have to understand that the world we live in there is no black and white there is there's no such thing it's all a sliding scale if they want to find you guilty they'll find you guilty i guarantee <clears> you <throat> sold something to a, a mate on ebay seven years ago didn't pay tax boom you're going to jail i'm enjoying this conversation and i understand every point she's making and i'm being deliberately abrasive however the truth is about the masculine feminine dynamic is that females like men who are completely in charge and run their life exactly how they want and they comply and Facts. bend to the man's wills and lifestyle to, to come along to a woman and say how do you want me to be so that you like me is is a death <laughs> is a death sentence for the relationship so it's a death sentence. How it works. <laughs> what kind of man do you want to be <laughs> <laughs> it's a death sentence. I right, listen, man, bro. Whether women wanna, the thing is, I always tell, I always tell guys like, just watch how women move. Just follow her. Look at women's actions, right? That will tell you everything you need to know about how women move. You gotta really analyze what they're saying and how it lines up with their actions, because they'll look. They'll always say they'll say one thing, but they'll do something else. And I'm not mad at it. That's just, bro. I don't. Do you know what I mean? That's how they communicate. They'll say they like nice guys, but who do they go after, bro? Nine times out of ten, we, we see it countless times in real life. And just look at just look at certain like high school movies where there's like high school characters and stuff. You see what I mean? They always go after the jock, even though that there's a guy there ready to give them everything. But they'll go after the guy that treats them like shit. And I'm not saying we should treat women like shit. I'm not saying that, right? That's what I'm saying. You should be, you should aim to be a good man that has boundaries, right? That's real. That's the ultimate man. That's what we're trying to get to on this side. But facts. Am I high value women in your eyes? You're very good looking. So I would say, uh, yeah, absolutely. You're beautiful. You seem like you're a good person. You seem intelligent. You're not stupid. So I'd say you're a high value woman. But your actions dictate that, right? The most important actions a woman can undertake is loyalty. Every man out here knows that. Disloyalty is the most disgusting thing a female could ever do to her man. But are you loyal? Let's not pretend that male loyalty and female loyalty are the same. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. But they're not the same thing, are they? Why is it not? Because men and women are not the same. We are not the same. You are correct there. Okay, so we agree. No, but I'm not agreeing to people being dishonest, cheaters. Liars. He's deluded. Why do you think men and women are different? We carry children. Correct. It's the same. So, right. if, but, so if I'm with you, Correct. Yeah. and I then cheat... That's disgusting. I can't believe you even said that on, on YouTube. You see, you just said that on YouTube. I'm sorry to the world. Please don't listen to this. No, but it happens. No, it, do, no, no, it doesn't it does. happen. No, 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 no. Please don't say this on YouTube. You're going to corrupt the youth. I'm sorry for her. I'll pray for her. Don't, <laughs> these things can't be said. Women can't do that. It's disgusting. Women can't do that, so it's a double standard. It's a double standard. But life is full of double standards. Yeah, but it doesn't mean any, like, listen, regardless of your philosophies and everything that you keep... It's not my philosophy. No, but I'm saying, okay, life is full of double standards. <laughs> I understand that. But in a relationship... Correct. It's a partnership. Yes. Right. You and me, we're together. Since when? You know what I'm oh. saying. When you're, when you're trying to build a partnership... <laughs> big dog, nigga, I'm a big dog. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey. Life with someone, yeah. the end goal is you two together. However, I would not see my infidelity as nearly anywhere near even 1% as disgusting as female infidelity because female infidelity just involves emotion. You will not sleep with a man you... It, bro, it's true. It is true. Look, us as guys, bro, we can get with any girl and we will not feel a thing, like, for her emotionally. Like, us guys, when we're trying to get some... Like, when we're trying to get it in... We're just trying to get it in and we can feel nothing like for that girl. Whereas a girl for a girl to cheat, she actually has to she really likes you. Like she really likes you. You see what I'm saying? I'm not listen, I'm not saying cheating cheating is they're both they're both bad, right? If you're in a committed relationship, you see what I'm saying? You're that's that's my girl. That's your girl. You, you feel what I'm saying? So 
personally on that bit, I, I, I'm not, I'm not disagreeing that you know kings in the past and you know even in the Bible and religious texts, yeah, there are men that had more than one, more than one wife. Yeah, they did, they did. I'm not saying it's right, but they did. Okay, so with that being said, like if a woman was to now cheat, that's that is different. Because again, we are different. Like we're going, it's kind of almost going around in circles here. That's just how it is, bro. You know, we're different beings, and so to put the same standards on both of us when we are different, you, you like it's kind of it's incomparable. It's incomparable, basically. Uh, and bro, that's just the way it is. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying I would like just cheat on my girl just randomly, right? However, if my girl was to cheat on me. I know she really likes that guy. It's not just to get her... Because cause women... Look, women think they can do what we do as guys. They think they can go out there and just fuck as many guys as, as they want and not feel a thing about it. You see what I'm saying? Ladies, I'm sorry to say, but you can't do that. You, you can't do it the way we do it. You can do it maybe for a, a, a little bit amount of time, but we're just never the same. We're, we're not the same, B. Females shouldn't even want to cheat. And the reason women can't cheat is because there's no way to ensure paternity of a female's cheating. Modern science in and of itself, just because you can now find out who the dad is, doesn't undo 5,000 years of human evolution in which a female had to be loyal to one man so we knew exactly who the father was. If a man has multiple partners, you know who the mother is, you know who the father is. If a woman has multiple partners, nobody knows who the dad is, nobody wants to look after the kid, and a woman with a child without a father or without a man around in the ancient world was toast. He talks a lot of nothing. <laughs> I would never ever be with he, talk, he talks a lot of nothing because either you don't understand it or you just don't like it so to you it's nothing like do you think a high value woman is going to sit there and tolerate a man condescending and talking to her and being like we're different and we're this we're that because we're not a woman knows her a woman that knows her worth is not going to tolerate that as professionals we discussed the infidelity of females and i said that female infidelity is more disgusting than male infidelity and i think that the world agrees with me History agrees with me. Another thing as well, look, if you've read if you've read The Rational Male, you will know that women actually prefer a guy that could cheat. They actually, like, deep down, they actually like a guy that has had multiple women before. Even though they may say, they may say the pol politically correct answer, like, oh, yeah, I don't like a guy that's been around, da -da -da, but those are the guys that they actually go after because they know that's a guy with experience. Again, Look at who women go after, not who they say they go after, bro. You learn a lot by just watching women's actions. I'm telling you now. Even today, nobody respects it, deep down. When a girl shoots a girl she doesn't like, you know the first thing she does? She says she's a You know why? Because they know deep down that female promiscuity is disgusting, it's revolting. That is, that is true. So the whole idea... Like I said, that, that, that's one of the other insults that, that women give to other women. Oh, she's such a slag. She's a slut. Because they know deep down, they're like, they're... Their coochie is precious, fam. You can't just be giving that around and around and around and around, going on the flipping carousel. You know what I mean? They know. But then they'll come on here on shows like this and start capping. It's like, why? <laughs>